happened, Henry? <gasps> we just got knocked out. I, just, I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... Fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I I I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. <laughs> yeah. This just... Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? Yes, I've been feeling okay. fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship. Anyways, pause that conversation, Ron. Got some bad news back at home. Let me out for a while. Did you note uh, what went down in Wapiti? Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Professionals is Italian. Amigos is Spanish, and Professionals is Italian. Probably going to be important, but I don't know how. Friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also... I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Hmm. Is this the way? Whoppity Meadows. Okay. Here we go! One of these times the rope is going to break again and we're going to be stuck. And that's just the way it's going to be. End of game. That's how it, That's how the game... Uh, what? That wasn't laid there by nature. You ever do that in public? You ever just go out to... Uh, what is this? Can't chop it down. Hmm. Boating. Yeah, you ever do that in nature and go to like a public park or something and uh Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't just set rocks around, up like that. I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions, acres. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I imagine. Okay. Um I I've, <laughs> I've given it the good college try, uh, no dice. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. Where is Ruby River? Hmm. 
That's really creepy though, that sound. Anyways. Um... Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going, so this is not good. We're probably going to get lost. This is probably a guarantee. So I'm sorry at some point if I have to cut this episode into a weird split, because it's probably me running around not knowing where I need to go. Imagine that. I mean, there's a chance I'll get lucky, but there's more of a chance I won't. I'm trying to think of where I need to go, but I don't think I know where I need to go. Oh. Oh! How am I going to get over there? That's one heck of a place. And I suppose it's not like Pac-Man, where I can just run off one side of the map and hope it's uh, going to work for me. So, yeah, that's one heck of a trick. Well, here we go, I guess. the kind of scenic place you take to get your mind off things and just kind of wander and daydream and take it all in. What is that? Is that music? Okay. It's kind of peaceful and tranquil. I have to make sure I'm going down the right way. Yeah, I am. Why'd they make me run this way? Why not just teleport me using the day number blank? Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. You don't know how to do that, but... No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever just keep say, hiking. Boss. Just keep hiking. Dory the fish always knows. That's a block trail. Um... Seriously, why this drum? That jump. Uh, we want to go this way. Back to our base. Some tree roots. What is this one?
Dang it. I missed the path. Um, shoot. Wait, no, that's our tower. Okay. Okay, so this is our tower. And if I kind of head up this way, apparently, we can kind of sort of get there, maybe, sort of, one way or another. Just make sure we're going the same way. And I think that's about as close as we're going to get. Without it giving us uh, one of those red lines on our map anyways. Oh, that's what I didn't look. Sorry, I keep checking the map, but I don't really know where I'm going. I need a cachet. What is this bird thing? Oh, that's a damaged tree. Okay, so there's one kind of coming up, I think. We will see. Motion blur. Peaceful music means danger. Let's update our map. I'm littering. Ron, really wish the powers that could issue us radios that didn't suck. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what you say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of beefies instead. Fife's. I don't know. That alcohol. Oh well. Alright. Well, there goes our pine cone. Uh, there was something it wanted to report. Oh, there it is. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um... Well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Hmm. 
Well, there's a tree there. That one we can use. If it was on the wrong... On the right side, I mean. Make sure I'm not missing a rock point thingy again. Um... Yeah, I feel like I've gone too far. But maybe not. I forgot what he said. Find an old scout camp. Okay. But I think uh, I am going the wrong way now. Is in too far. But maybe not. Old cave? Nope, not a cave. This is what Flash does. Flash gets lost. Quite easily. In wide open games. No way. Oh, okay, I was look looking at it in a different angle. Okay. He said up the ravine. Oh, wait, which way's up? Yeah, he said up, so I went north. No way. Okay. Totem. Kind of cool, right? Maybe? Maybe not. Um, let's see. No idea. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Missing person, 1981, and it's like 1980-something. Like 89 or something. Aha! Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked Now I can get those damaged trees. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh... Squad, uh, let's see, Doctor. Squad boss, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the forest region, National Forest, to cut fire lines south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simons at the Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you. As part of the wildfire risk assessment of the region, I told them that they have nothing to worry about that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away, but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks. Always at your service, Rich. Like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else. That's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So, I get... what's next? 
Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Following me. That's ominous. Um, I have no idea where I'm supposed to really go. Oh. I, I had a thought. What? Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. When? Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? Oh my god. Not this is scary. Problems. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Day 77. Well, that's ominous. So with that, this turned into a horror game. But we'll see what has the next episode. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.